Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and this video is to show you how to purify water so it's the cleanest water on the planet for you to drink. I made it with a water distiller from Vivor. This distiller can also be used for other things like alcohol and essential oils and other things you want to distill. But I'm going to show you how to make fresh, pure water right now. Let me show you how easy it was to use a Vivor water distiller to make this beaker of water. And you just fill it with normal tap water. You take the top off and put cold water and you fill the carafe to the top line. It holds 3,000 milliliters, which is just over 12 cups of water. And you want to put the water in the tank. Well, the first thing you need to do is you unplug the back if it's plugged in because you're going to need to open this. And to open it, you twist it off. There's a handle at the top that helps. And you just twist it until it comes off. It has a line to indicate what the max amount of water is, so make sure you know where that is. As you pour in your water, that is the one carafe of the 3,000 milliliters that we just poured in there. But you see, it's less than the maximum. And let me explain that. When your water distills, the volume of the water is going to decrease that finishes. And so I'm adding extra water so I can get to the maximum line. So pour in that extra water so you have a full load. Just like that. I just eyeballed it. And it comes preloaded with a charcoal filter that's already in it when you get the machine and they give you extras so you can replace it already with the whole kit. So then you're going to put the top of the Vivor water distiller on it. Now the cord's got a line up in the back, so aim, shoot, and fire so it's lined right up. And do the twist and plug her in. And put the plastic lid on top and put it right to the side of your water distiller for your carafe to be accepting the water. And now you're ready to plug her in. The lights will go on because someone's home. You're about to get your first batch of your distilled water. So we're going to turn on the power switch, which is right here. We hear the fans so we know it's on its way. Not only do we hear them, but we can see that they're rotating. And so your Viva water distiller is entering the heating state with those fans rotating. The timer's preset for three and a half hours when you first turn it on, and that's the amount of time it'll take to do one load filled to the max line of distilled water. The Viva water distiller has a display that's so easy to use. I love that it was preset for the three and a half hours because that's where you want to start. And you can change the setting from centigrade or Fahrenheit just by pressing the center button. I'm going to have Fahrenheit. Because you can use the Vivor water distiller to also make wine and to make essential oils, it has a setting to press up or down for the temperature of the water. I'm going up to 210, which is boiling temperature. Right now it's telling me it's at 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And you set the time by pressing the set button. You can go up to all the way to 99 hours because if you have wine or some alcohol, you might want a long distilling process. And you hit it to get to the minutes too. When the main engine is heated for about 30 minutes, the distilled water begins to drip out the outlet slowly. It will come out here. Until all the water in the inner tank is completely dried, the unit is engineered so it automatically shuts off when the temperature reaches about a 239 degrees Fahrenheit. It will automatically go off. The Viva water distiller has 750 watts of power for distilling the water. And that 750 watt heating element allows Vivor's home water distiller to produce up to one liter per hour. That's about a quarter gallon. And if you were to have this on 24 hours in a day, it's going to make six gallons in a day. The carafe holds about one gallon of water and it's glass. And it has a silicone buffer so it won't crack or break easily. And it can store the distilled water longer than any plastic holders. You can put this in a fridge. The distillation process is very effective at removing potentially harmful contaminants. Making your drinking water from a distillation process is a good option for treating water problems. 
this Viver water distiller removes up to 99.5% of impurities from water. Your municipality's tap water may have some impurities you don't want to drink. There are some solids in there, even though they're dissolved, that you may not want to put in your body. There could be metals, nitrate, and bacteria. Distilled water also helps to prevent kidney stones from forming in your body. One of the reasons kidney stones can form is having too many minerals in your water. Distilled water doesn't have any minerals. Using the Vivar water distiller gives you so many options in the water you and your family will drink. Plastic bottles of water can get the dissolved plastic in what you drink, as well as being very bad for the environment, and also very heavy to bring into your home. Not only will the Viver distiller save you money by making your own water, it also saves the planet because it's not being packaged. With distilled water, there's no bad taste or bad smell. You have distilled it to its finest form. And this water is great for your whole family of all ages. Buying bottled water is so expensive to have it delivered to your house. There are very expensive distillers, but Vivor's is very affordable. It's very inexpensive. And it is the basis of the most pure waters. And some people like to add supplements to their water. And it's great for that too. Distilled water is excellent to keep you hydrated. I'm gonna turn it off now. It probably had a half an hour to go and is terrific for laboratory use because you can time it from zero to 99 hours. And the zero to 99 hour timing range is ideal for that constant temperature fermentation. And that's great for making the alcohol, the essential oils, and also hydrosol. All the parts that the water comes in contact with in the distiller has a food grade 304 stainless steel rating. That includes the internal tank, the inner cap, and the water outlet. The built-in four blade aluminum fan, as well as the SUS 304 condensing coil inside is durable enough for rapid heat dissipation. So it cools while it's heating inside. So that's why it doesn't overheat as well. And because of those features of the fan and the coil, it has a really long service life. It's equipped with a wonderful overheat protection and dry burning resistant protection. And that's gonna make it so it doesn't burn out. The Vivor water distiller came to my home in this box. It arrived right to my front door. I put the box on my counter, so I opened the top of the box, and this is how it came packaged. And so I took everything out of the box, and I laid it on my counter so you could see everything you get when you order one. You have the main unit of the water distiller and the top of the water distiller, as well as the carafe, and it comes with a couple of pieces you assemble. I'll show you that in a second. And also the electrical hookups for it. One of the wires is already attached to the top of the unit, while the other one plugs into the back. It's a three-pronged system into the back of the unit, and it goes in like this. It has a four-foot cord. It's heavy-duty and high-quality and has a three-pronged normal household outlet that just plugs right in. The size of the Vivor water distiller is a convenient size. It fits nicely underneath my kitchen cabinets. I chose a stainless steel color because I love that in my kitchen, but it also comes gray or a red wine color as well, and those options are included on their website. This styling is so nice, it would look great in any kitchen. It's very sleek and has a beautiful finish to it. Vivor also gives you three extra charcoal filters. And also there's instructions in this little pamphlet that's really easy to read. It made things simple for me to start up my first batch of water. To assemble the carafe and the handle, it comes with everything you need. They give you two bands of metal, the screws, the little pieces that it needs to be screwed with, so all you need is your Phillips head screwdriver. I attached the bands. They had a certain way that this black tab goes into it to support the bands and the handle. And then by inserting this little black piece that the screw goes into in that silver band, you tuck it in there. And with a Phillips head screwdriver, you just twist it on. And in a couple of turns, it's assembled. I did both the bottom and the top and the handle was secure at that point. And they start you off with a bottle of citric acid so you can clean the machine. And Fever is thought to give you a starter pack of citric acid, which is a normal fruit cleanser available anywhere. You'll want to clean your machine every now and then if you get a calcium or mineral buildup on it, if it looks dirty. And to do that, you just pour a couple teaspoons of the citric acid 
right into some water when the machine is on. Let that water heat for about two hours with the top off and you'll have a clean machine afterwards. It's very simple to clean. So with your water, fill up all those beautiful glasses of that crystal clear distilled water. No impurities knowing you're drinking the most pure of water. So what does it taste like, Rebecca? <laughs> mm, refreshing. It tastes great. And I love hydrating myself with what I know is the purest of waters. Click the link below to get your Viver water distiller. I recommend it for households. And if you travel around the world, this is great to know that you can make your own distilled water anywhere in the world that you have electricity. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified of my next video and let's keep making great recipes of life. And today's recipe is for the purest of waters with the Viver water distiller. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> I'm gonna go and take a break and drink my water. <sighs> mm. <sighs> if you like this video, Here's some more about great recipes made with water. Lots of great drinks.